Well, hello everyone. I don't know who will have time to tune in. Some of you are in the U.S., some of you are outside of the U.S., but it is Thanksgiving Day here, and I am busy in the kitchen making Thanksgiving dinner. Now, many families have Thanksgiving dinner at, at dinner time, which is towards the evening, like six or seven, but it was always my grandmother's tradition to have our Thanksgiving meal around noon. So it's like a midday meal. So that's what I've decided to do all these years. And I, it means I have to wake up very early in the morning to get the turkey in and um, prepare all the side dishes so that everything is ready and we can sit down around noon. <laughs> okay. If you can, go on Facebook. I've shared some photos of what I did before last night. Hey, someone first joined me. Who is there? Srinavas Morali, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm not sure how to say your name, but hello and thank you for being the first to join me. I am here in my kitchen and Carmelita just joined me as well. And whether you're celebrating or not, I still want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Ms. Asma is here. You're oh, someone's joining me from India. Hello, and Ikran and Flamir. Thank you so much. Hey, Sam and Bilal. I'm doing fine. I'm actually okay. I'm, I woke up very early to get uh, Thanksgiving dinner ready. Marat, hello, and Alfredo, thank you for joining me. So I'm here in my kitchen. It's actually quite hot in here. Usually it's not so hot, but when you're cooking thanks, Thanksgiving, um, the kitchen fills up with heat. Yusuf, I'm thank, you, thank you for joining me. Sin and Mizo from Algeria and Morocco. Thanks, guys. I don't know if you can see in the background, um, you see the oven that I have. Hey, Lawson and Nisha and Tran, obstinate pearl. I look so fresh. Actually, um, I sweat a lot in the kitchen when it gets really hot. <laughs> Tomas, Ahmed, I have a double oven. Can you see that behind me? Oh, from New York. Boy, is it cold there. There's my double oven. See, I'm going to go down, 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 down. Actually, I'll, I'll give you a better view soon. Um, someone, hey, bonjour, someone's coming from, I don't know which French-speaking country you're coming from, but thank you for joining me. Cafeterito, you're here, and Walid, <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, so I only have like maybe five, maybe more minutes to spend with you big guys because um, we have guests arriving for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving can be a small family meal. Often it's a very big family meal, but all of my relatives are very spread out. Um, so we have some friends joining us for Thanksgiving. I'm in Massachusetts. That's in New England. That's the Northeast region. And we are going to sit down around 12 noon and it is 11.37 now. Hey Hong, <laughs> thank you for every, all your holiday wishes, everyone. And who else just joined me? Emirade from Kirksville, Juan is here, and Um from Algeria. <laughs> so go on Facebook if you're curious. You can see what I was up to last night. I had to bake the pies, bake my muffins. Hey, Hanata and Danielson, <laughs> Avin, Karid. Um, the names are scrolling by so fast. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Yes. Oh, I wish I could serve a, a little bit of Thanksgiving dinner to all of you. Someone said they like turkey. I do too. It takes a long time to roast though, so I only roast a turkey once a year, and that's on Thanksgiving. <laughs> so let me show you what's going on in my kitchen. I'm going to turn around here. Hopefully my kitchen's not too much of a mess. Hey, Maria. Okay. This is called a double oven. Double because there's two. And Thanksgiving is a perfect time to make use of the double oven. I actually should turn on the bottom light so I can see what's going on. How do I turn on the bottom light? Lower, there we go. Oops, hello. Okay, see, now I have two lights on. So this is where my turkey is. It's actually done already, so I'm hoping that it doesn't get too brown before the guests come. Want to sneak a peek? That's the turkey. And these days, all the turkeys at the grocery store are sold with this pop-up thermometer. And so it pops up to say the turkey is done. So hopefully my turkey won't get too dry. I'm waiting until the guests arrive, then I'll take it out. Someone asked me if I have cranberry sauce. I do. 
uh, cranberry sauce will be there. So I'm getting the table ready um, for our guests. Let's walk over here. You can see the TV's on. Someone was just saying that they're in New York and New York has the annual Macy's Day Parade and it is so cold there. Can you imagine walking for one or two miles in the cold? So what do you think is here? That will be my mashed potatoes. Wontonis, and you speak French. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and John is here, and Jackie. Okay, what do you think this is? This is my butternut squash. Can you see the orange beautiful color? You add some spices like nutmeg and cinnamon. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my turkey's probably, whoops, it's boiling too much. That's gonna be my gravy. So you can have gravy or cranberry sauce. And you can use gravy or cranberry sauce on your turkey or just eat it plain. <laughs> uh, the chat should be live, yes, because I'm seeing all of you type, Susanta. But. So Thanksgiving is all today today. Um, people have their own traditions. My children and I like to watch the Macy's Day Parade on TV and we watch the bands march and play their music. We see people dance and people sing. Um, a lot of American families love American football. <laughs> so Thanksgiving is a day to gather, eat, and watch football. That's not our tradition. If you know and you've been following me for a while, you know that my family does watch and follow one sport. Do you know what it is? <laughs> we watch hockey. And my husband and I are giving our children an early Christmas present, and we are going to our first NHL game this Friday, tomorrow. <laughs> so we're going to go into Boston, and we're going to go watch the Boston Bruins and the Pittsburgh Penguins. So that will be our first NHL game as a family. So that's going to be part of our Thanksgiving Day weekend. Hey, Sally. <laughs> So someone just asked, um, what are we grateful for? Or how do we say grateful? You know, I have a video on that, on how to give thanks. I did that with my children a year or two ago. Um, so if you are curious about those kinds of phrases, um, you can learn through that old video. But I'll tell you, um, it is also a tradition for certain families of different religions to say some sort of prayer or have a moment of silence or if they choose not to make it very religious, they still go around the table and say what they're thankful for. I'm thankful for this, I'm grateful for that. So different families have their different traditions. My grandmother would always say grace, and so that's our family's tradition. Grace is a prayer that you say before a meal. So it's my family's tradition to say grace before a Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, yeah, so um, what am I thankful for this year? Uh, always the top ones, thankful for my health, thankful for my family, thankful for the things that I have in my life, and thankful for the opportunity to teach you all and share what I know and what I think is useful for you. So I'm very thankful for this opportunity to even share a moment of my Thanksgiving day with you. Um, oh, thank you from Egypt. I'm so glad people are sharing this day with me. I'll, I think I can't show you the TV because um, it's on in the back and things are copyrighted, but we always have the Macy's Day Parade playing. It goes on for like two or three hours. And at the very end of the parade, just before noon, do you know who arrives? The last person in the parade is always Santa Claus. He's the big hit of the parade. People wait, and that's the end of the parade. Thanksgiving then marks the beginning of our big holiday season. From Thanksgiving all the way to New Year's, it's just one big festive time. So we have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, those who observe Hanukkah. It's just a lot of holidays in the December season, and Thanksgiving kicks it all off. Right, if you kick it off, you start it. Hey, thank you, Joselise here and Reg. Hey, Ray, thank you. <laughs> I'm not an, an oh, I'm always, I'm grateful for all your comments, Ray, and I'm grateful for everyone who takes the time to post comments and reply and try my tasks. And by the way, those of you who don't know, I am now on Instagram. 
So it is new for me. Some of you have been on for a while, so you can follow me there. And for those of you who are thinking, I'm not on Instagram, well then go try it out. It's new for me, it can be new for you. And I'm already posting tasks. Um, perhaps you'd like to study with me on Instagram too. And I just put an announcement out, but I'll tell you again that if you follow me on Instagram, my username is English with Jennifer Lebedev. Okay, so the button for all my social media accounts, there are buttons on my main channel page. So just click and follow. It will be fun to practice in new ways on Instagram. Um, I'm going to be ending my live chat very soon, my live stream here, but I will be sharing a new lesson. It is Thursday and I always try to share new lessons on Thursday. So I did prepare one yesterday and I'll be able to post it later this evening when I have a bit more time. Okay. <laughs> yes, thank you, Marad. Yes, and Turkey. Isn't it funny that there are words like that that have uh, more than one meaning? Turkey the country and Turkey the meat. Maham, thank you for being here. And Willie. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. So let's do one last round of food. This is, if you, I did make some um, Thanksgiving videos in the past, one with about, about preparations um, the night before and one on how to say your thanks, how to give thanks and express appreciation. But let's talk just as we end some useful vocabulary. You can see the table is set and how many people is it set for? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the table is set for seven. And there um, is a place setting for each person. A place setting is the plate, a napkin, fork, knife, spoon, and a glass. The children are probably going to have apple cider. Let's get the apple cider out. I'll give you a glance into my messy refrigerator. <laughs> Let's get the apple cider out. Apple cider. You can drink apple cider cold or warm. Yeah. Um, in the middle, people have different centerpieces. I don't have anything too fancy, um, but you can see that I have some like squash, like little different, um, I guess we call them gourds. Gourds, G-O-U-R-D-S, gourds. And I have some fake leaves, but they're pretty, around the gourds. And then there are two tall candlesticks and candle holders. Yes, thank you, Susanta, for typing that. <laughs> and hopefully there will be a ni enough space for all the things I'm preparing. As I said, I have the turkey in here. Let's check and make sure the turkey is not getting too brown, too dry. Okay, and down here, I'll give you a glimpse of what's going on. I have my green bean casserole extra stuffing, which is breadcrumbs that are moistened with celery and onion. And I don't want to burn my finger, but oh, there's my candied sweet potatoes. I need to get those out soon. And I already showed you my mashed potatoes and my butternut squash and the gravy is all ready. So I wish it would be so much fun to prepare a little plate for all of you and share that. Later today, we're gonna slice up the, um, the pumpkin pie. Our guests will be bringing apple pie. So it is a day of enjoying company and being thankful and eating a lot. Some people eat so much, they overeat. I'm going to try not to overeat. Yams and sweet potatoes are similar. So I have um, candied sweet potatoes, which are basically yams. Yes. Um, I will try not to overeat today. I will eat throughout the day so that I don't get too full. Do you know another good word is stuffed? I don't want to feel too stuffed. So I have to be careful how much I eat. Everything is so yummy, but we have to try not to eat too much. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you, Susanta's my typer today. Thank you so much. Hey, Molly. So guys, I want to remind you again, please, if you haven't, Follow me on Instagram, it's something new for all of us and I think we can have a lot of fun and useful practice together, okay? That's English with Jennifer Lebedev. And also later this evening, a few hours from now, I'll find time to share the new video lesson. And I'll give you a little hint that we're going back to the email playlist. There was a request for business emails, 
so I have a special lesson planned on that. And if you are particularly interested in practicing emails and how to write better emails, especially business emails, you might consider becoming a member this month, at least for one month, guys, because each month I do a live stream for members only. It's very different from this. I sit down at my computer and it's like a, a, a lecture style, but it's interactive. So I am going to prepare um, a lesson for the next live stream. It will be a members only live stream and we're going to practice writing email. And you will have the chance to interact with me through the live chat and help me edit and proofread and develop emails. So if you're interested in email writing, consider becoming a member of my channel. Just click the join button. It's a small monthly payment. Even if you join only for one month, you can attend the next live stream and practice writing email with me. And you also get bonus posts and you get access to all the previous um, live streams that were recorded. So it's a great deal for just a single monthly payment. If you choose just to try it out one month, then that's perfectly fine, okay? <laughs> all right. Le oh goodness, you're writing some funny comments already there, Ray. See about your hyperbole. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm gonna sign off because I need to get things on my table. And I thank you again for joining me. I hope to see some of you on Instagram. I hope to see all of you later when I post my new lesson about writing email. And I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Take care. Happy studies.